Last time you saw G up, it was a fully functioning drift car. But when you're striving to be the best, you have to continue to take it to the next level. With G up out of the shop at EKZ getting wired, we have a few spare days to make some progress on Damo's new engine combo, featuring the 408 stroke iron block 6 litre Magnuson 2650 blower. So join us on the road to Matsuri. Yeah. He's a DET, this one. Not any. Intricate boss. Wow. Look at how it's folded. Very interesting. <laughs> Women love it when you grab it. Quick, quick seat review. Yep. Oh, you're driving. It's le yeah, I'm driving, bro. <laughs> it's leather. Seat is leather. Female behaviour. <laughs> You've upset me. Still leather. They haven't changed. <laughs> Knees towards the door. <laughs> Staring out the window. <laughs> I'm upset. It's my leather. Oh. Oh. Similar, somewhat the same thing, bro. These are on the same rate. How? 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 Why? <laughs> Woo! I don't know about you, Jordan, man, but I've heard that SR20 is quite the 20 now. If I was going to have any 20s in my pocket, it'd be an SR20, I tell you. <laughs> What's happening? Well, you see, the bin's quite to the brim. So, what we do is we hire this little simulator and he jumps in there. A couple of times, three times a jump, we pay him about 20 cents a jump. He's done about nine jumps today, so therefore, he's paid up for the week. Hey, sir. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Quick off, off, progress. Oh, son. Fifth car. You caught me. You caught me. Step George. All right, little update on Damo's S13. Yesterday we got the, or Daniel got the seat brackets modified to fit the new Sparco Grid Q. There was nothing wrong with the old seats. They were just. Yeah, they had those brides in them. Yeah, bright bricks. They were pretty dark. Right there. It's just the sparkers are a little bit. I think they're a little more. A little newer, a little ADR classier. as well. So the seats are just out the back there. You can see them chilling for now. And I'm just working on, in the car here, making up a panel to seal the parcel tray and like the back seat area from the boot. Rear firewall maybe? Yeah, rear firewall yeah. you'd probably call it, I guess. Yeah. Um, it had one in there, but it was just kind of like, 50% of it was good. So yeah, last time we did yeah. Massery Prep on this, we made, Daniel made a parcel shelf section of it and it already had the back seat section. Uh, we did that because a bit of a time crunch. We only remade what we had to uh, this time around. This piece here on the floor, you can see, is not a straight cut on it, and it was just tech screwed in, in nah. various places. So it looks good from my front. Door. I'm in the <laughs> I'm in the process of remaking that, so I've got the side panels in there at the moment. George will show you. Uh, so we've got a three-piece section going in, so it can cover as much of that as possible, and then we'll bolt that all in, so it's all nice and it's it a complete sleek. sealed, <laughs> top to bottom. Dry sump tank. We're waiting to turn up so we can mount that. So got the AccuSump out of the back and got the lines that were running from the back to the front out. They're not going to be used anymore. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, hey, Jordan. Crikey! Is that a carpet fiber? On the carpet oil went out. Watch it, it's quite 
venomous. It's cool, it's venomous. <laughs> we get released into the wild. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like he's still here. Stevie, you're trying to tell us something. It looks small, but it's massive. Got a little bit of progress on Damo's S13. So as you can see, we've got the very pretty, very shiny looking LS based engine in there. So this is a six liter iron block stroke to 408. We've got the Higgins race heads on the top there. Magnuson blower, so that's a new blower. Last time it was on the dyno, we sort of had the blower at its sort of limits. Gone ahead and thrown that big, what do we want to call it? Big blower. Big, blower. big honk, big chunky boy, big horse. Big horse of a blower on the top there. Uh, George probably got some B-roll of that thing, but inside that, the, what do you call them? The rotors? I don't know what you call them. Turbines, yeah, I don't know. Inside that blower, the thing's massive. It's pretty, pretty impressive uh, bit of kit to actually sort of look at and look inside of. So we've got a 20 pound pulley coming or a 20 pound pulley system. So the bottom and the top pulley combined. So we've got that coming. So this thing will be running 20 pound is the goal on the dyno. So um, that's the only drawback with the supercharger is pretty much they make what they make unless you start changing pulley sizes. We've got injectors over there, dropped out by injector carb. So we've got 1650 Bosch injectors to go in it as well as we've got to upgrade the fuel pumps in it. So they're just, a, I think there's like a 300 LPH pump in it at the moment. And we just, they're pretty much just gonna run out short of what we're actually chasing. So we've got twin Pierbergs to go in the back as well. Unlike the RB style dry sump pans, the, the LS ones, that, well the LS one that we've got here, the scavenge side of the pan is actually all built in. So on our RB style pumps, which I don't know where one is, but George, if you wanna throw it up, it's got a whole heap of fittings along the side of it. So you actually have to feed individual scavengers from the pan to the pump uh, with individual lines, whereas everything on this is all inbuilt. These have only got three. So they've got the basically fresh oil in from the tank, oil back to the tank, and then oil to the engine. So that's it. Everything else is built in, uh, which makes it a lot tidier install and it, gives you, it actually gives you a lot more space. So, so far everything's actually fitting up. Pretty sure I'm gonna get it on the hoist very soon gonna put the flywheel clutch and gearbox in as long as I've got all the parts for that which I think I do and then we'll just keep going from there pretty much all the wiring and stuff like that should all uh, be as it was we may just have to extend a few things or modify them slightly but it should all be pretty straightforward to put all that back together yeah basically we're just gonna keep going so far so far so good everything's fitting but knock on wood there's no wood that's it that's it George No, oh, no. Easy. We're going in four steps. Afternoon, guys. So we've had another pretty full-on week here. We've been getting stuck into the S15. Most engine bay, 90% ready to go for primer. There's been a bit of a spanner thrown in the works this week. We've ended up chopping the roof off because we found a whole heap of rust in a few spots. So we've gone ahead and um, drew out all the spot welds and she's been cut off through here and here. Um, there's a little bit of rust through these back corners um, and a tiny little section through here. So that's really slowed up the, the rest of the work. Changed the plans here. We were gonna use a bit of fiberglass off the wide body panel themselves but instead we've used a steel panel up under here just to fill up that gap so we don't have any rubbish going up in between the rear fender and the panel itself. Probably going to likely start a fire or something and we don't need that. 
I think I mentioned in one of the last videos, it had a bit of a dingleberry in this corner. Just a little one, flattening everything out and getting the doors. Oh, hang on, there goes my phone, we'll turn that off. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we've done our best to sort of get the doors lined up at the position of the hinges in the right um, position. We've got the rear quarters finished, the roof is pretty well on its way. We've got a couple of more hours of sand and bog and hopefully we will be getting it into the um, spray booth for some primer either late this evening or possibly tomorrow morning. We've got the side skirt finished. As you can see, we've moulded this section on to suit the, court, the front quarter guards like I explained in the last video. We've got that all glassed on nice and chunky. She's not going anywhere. A couple of little spots where we had to sort of trim out and re-glass it inside the doors just to get the gaps around the doors nice and tidy. So they're all finished. Over fenders for the rear are completely lined up and ready to go back on once they're primed, um, do a final fitment. Same with the rest of the stuff. Yeah, it's been a bit of a chaotic week this week. We've been all over the shop. We've just been going mad. Fair few hours in the engine bay there, trying to tidy it up because we want it to look nice and schmick, especially once the new billet motor goes in. So we're getting pretty close, getting close to primer. Once the primer's down, it's just a whole heap of rubbing again. And then we get to the fun part of throwing some colour down. So if you guys would like to throw some comments in the comment section and have a guess of what you think the colour might be, even throw out some suggestions, but um, the colour is already chosen. Keep following along, keep in loop with how we're going. We're getting pretty close to getting it done now. Um, yeah, the joys. Yeah, I've heard recently, recently that a few things don't fit. Um, do you want to go dash six or dash eight? Six, six. I'd rather go six two because it's much more uniform. Yeah, female, of course. The hole's too big for dash six. Sorry. You're too big for dash six. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's Friday. What are we saying? We're done. We're done. We're, We're finished for the week. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay Next tuned. episode, we're going to be getting the RTS, ah, sorry, G Force. We're going to be getting the G Force four speed dog box. Fitted up with the clutch. Fitted up to this with the clutch. Um, um, the S15? Got the S15. S15 colour probably also going to be revealed in the next video, so. Stay tuned. Ideally, in a perfect world, we'll have this thing pretty much ready to rumble. Buttoned up. Buttoned up, and we'll have the S15 colour revealed in the next episode. So it should be exciting. Oh, I'm very excited. Me too. Yeah. Uru. <laughs> See you next one. Uru. Say bye. Bye, George. Bye, George, man. Well, I actually like opened up the other one and was like, where is this empty? <laughs> <laughs> Think you can sit in on the job, George, man, eh? Hold on. I'll lay down on the job. I'm in. Is there anything sharp in here? It's fragile, I reckon. It's not very fragile, is it? See that? See that? No! No! No!